Sure. So I'm currently a computer engineering student from the Pennsylvania State University, aka Penn State, and it's been two years here in the U.S. studying at Penn State. It's a wonderful place to be in, and it's been adventurous. I would say that's the best word to describe my experience, and it was filled with things that were extremely fun, challenges that were never seen before. I mean, from small things like no one ever knowing what capsicum is and I have to figure out that it's not capsicum here, it's green pepper or you know probably choosing what kind of cheese you have to you know put in your sandwich out of like 20 different cheeses you have uh, you know available here you know right from that for at my freshman year to time management which is which makes US education the most challenging in, in its own way you know all of them my experience has been great. I've received a completely newer perspective to education, to life, and how we approach the different uh, different challenges. Uh, currently, I'm the secretary for the Association for India's Development. That's a philanthropic organization which aims at creating on uh, organizing on campus events through which they could collect funds that could be used for uh, grassroots development projects in India. Other than that, I am also the events chair for South Asian Student Association here. And this organization is again, uh, it promotes the Indian culture and the spirit of Indianness on campus. And other than that, I, I have always been really interested in developing my leadership skills. So I am very involved in all the leadership uh, trainings that keep on happening on campus and in the US. So for say for example, I was a part of a thing called as leadership, not leadership, it's leadership and this is a nationally run leadership conference, um, you know, which tries to develop your, your intellectual and spiritual leadership self. And other than that, I also went to California and California State University to attend another wonderful uh, leadership conference, it was called a circle of change. Yes, uh, that is that is pretty much my extracurricular and one of the small uh, co-curricular activity that I have in uh, research as of now and this research is based on human computer interaction and I'll be working on uh, projects like developing use of smart glasses to assess people who are visually disabled and also uh, creating applications like Uber but in a non-profit way. So use instead of using money as a currency, we use time as a currency. I, as I said earlier, time management is by far, by far the most, most challenging thing I have ever faced in a college in US. And not only because uh, US in general is extremely punctual in terms of time, but also because, I will be honest, studying in India and, you know, being in India all my life, I used to always have like 20 minutes or 15 minutes of cushion time and there is no concept of cushion time in uh, US. So if something has to start at 10.05, you need to be there at 10. If it's supposed to end at 11, it will end at 11. So because of that extreme uh, punctuality in time, you know, your, your submissions are yeah, and then everything is holistic, everything is comprehensive in terms of your grading. So each of your homework is graded, in many classes each of your attendance is graded. So I had, I have to do everything all together. So it is a difficult task, sometimes I have to skip on sleep, sometimes I have to see if I could skip one thing to do, do the another, do the other. But you know, it's it's. I'm still in that learning process of how I could effectively manage time. Uh, how did you go about your applications, your SAT preparation, etc.? Yeah, indeed. I mean, I started off thinking that I'll be do it on. I'll be able to do it on my own, but it was a challenging task, and that's why I went to Jambori. And since then, uh, Jambori made my life a lot easier because there were so many things that probably I wouldn't just know through the internet or you know probably I wouldn't be able to find it out easily through any other source of information but you know 
uh, when I went to Jamboree, they had their own personalized books, which had probably the best material I could ever get to prepare for my SATs. I had great counselors, and I had great help to you know for my essays. So indeed, I mean, right from SAT preparation to preparing for my application essays, and you know all the details about what are the best ways to apply and what are the best universities I should uh, select to send my applications to. Everything was covered uh, by this, uh, the project, you know, by Jamboree. So it was a great help that I received.